Hello guys, welcome back to another Bloodborne video. Today we're gonna be fighting Bloodstarved Beast. And as you can see here, we actually are using a different character. That's because the first uh, guide got deleted accidentally. So we're gonna have to be using this other character, beautiful character I had to do in order to get back to all the items. So this will be like a kind of a speed run because uh, as you can see I deleted the previous one which was already good to go so we'll have to do it with this guy by the way he's level 4 and has level 3 weapons so we're just gonna speed run through all the Arnhem okay check it out beautiful uh, let's see over here yep that's him he's gonna be our player uh, until we kill a blood star beast so let's get to it Okay, over here, just open this up, you'll find the Blood Gem Workshop tool, which will allow you to upgrade weapons. Over here, we're gonna have a little cutscene. You know, normal stuff. Okay, now this is gonna be more of a speed run th through all the Arnhem. What you're gonna wanna do first is just run straight here to the far end, over there. Don't mind this guy. Now I'll just go over here. By the way, guys, my character right here is level 4. We're gonna beat the Blood Star Beast with a level 4 character. We're just gonna go through here. Don't mind the enemies, don't mind anything at all. Just kill them. Take a left. Go up the stairs. Take a right. Use this, which will open the tombstone over there. Just climb down. Go through. I just keep on going down until you reach the checkpoint. This is right before old Yarnum. No hunters allowed. Yes, yeah, shut up. Let's go. Over here, you're gonna want to make sure to. Oh, that's Juris peeking, whatever. Kill that guy. Keep on running over here. You just run here and jump down. Keep rolling. Be careful with the shots. Don't mind the hunter. I'm just doing it pretty quickly because I went through all this before and <laughs> in the super detailed video. And I just want to end it. So you just keep running. Oh, right. Make sure to equip the torch. It'll help you out a lot in this part. Grab this. It's going to help you out later. Over there, that's where the boss fight is going to take place. A lot of scarecrows. Yeah. Crows, I don't care. They are. Just kill them as usual. That's what you have to do with all the enemies in this game. Kill them. Grab all the blood shards. And you see they get scared from the torch running. Over here, you'll see that little tower. You're gonna wanna climb it. And here you can access this checkpoint, which will be of great help. 
I'll just go back down and keep on heading to the boss fight area. Run through here. Don't mind the enemies at all. A lot of enemies over here. Just following me. Watch out for the dog in three, two, one, right. Oh fucking shit, man. Now remember where that dog came out from? We just wanna go in there. Climb the spiral staircase until you reach the checkpoint which will allow you to go from the lamppost over to the boss fight in a relative short amount of time it's right here just make sure to open it and now that we've opened up that checkpoint and gathered a little bit of bloodstone shards we're just gonna fortify our weapon and we're good to go we're gonna kill bloodstark beast with my level 4 character that's all there is to it boss fight level 4 character again level 3 weapon let's see how we do I got killed previously for playing recklessly that grab is so deadly always stay to the back of them The back is the way to go, always. I grab. There we go, another explosion. He's gonna blow up again. There you go. Dead. Level 4 character. Level 3 weapon. Just for you guys. There wasn't much, this wasn't much of a guide, I'm sorry, but okay, I just died. Either way, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video, which will be better edited. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.